What's going on, Rev Room? Today is the day. Finally came in. No more 1080 for this guy. Alright guys, so I obviously ordered the new Canon EOS R8. Super excited. Opened up the box with you guys. Uh, I wanted to showcase this camera, go through it a little bit, and obviously I haven't used it, so I'm not gonna do, this is not gonna be a real world testing video, just opening it up, setting it up, showing you guys what comes with it, all this stuff, the battery, which is very tiny, I'm not excited about that, that's the only downfall with this camera, but charger, you got the manual book, your little Canon strap in a tray. So put that all to the side. Wow. And that's it. Camera's in the box. This thing, incredibly light. I don't remember the exact measurement. I'll put it down here, how much exactly it weighs. But I mean, wow. So Finally, from all the millions of dollars I've made on YouTube thus far, I bought a new camera that we can do 4K with. Uh, I'm a little bit behind Mark and Mickey. They have been shooting 4K for a while now, and it was time for me to upgrade to this monster. So I'm running, if you guys don't know already, I did a video on it, the Canon 80D. That's what I'm shooting on right now with a what do we got a 16 to 35 L series lens which I plan on putting on this camera I bought the adapter this adapter this makes the EF lens mount onto the RF lens camera so there's that mirrorless camera I mean I am just blown away of how light this camera is obviously I don't have a lens on it but Body to body, my ADD is insanely heavy. Never really posed a problem with me while I was out on a shoot. Um, you know, I'd have it on my strap or on a tripod or whatever. Lugging it around really wasn't too big of a deal. So the lighter weight camera wasn't like a priority for me. But I know for a lot of you guys, this is going to be uh, incredibly important because you're out shooting all day. Um, one thing I was concerned with was that this camera is significantly smaller. The grip was smaller because I do have very large hands and I was concerned that it would be uncomfortable to hold for a long period of time. So I'm glad that I do not have that issue. And should the battery life become an issue for me, um, I mean, majority of the time I'm shooting in a studio setup so I can get the, um, power wire for this camera i think it's like 70 bucks or something like that but and plug it in so the battery life will never be an, a problem for me but i will obviously be buying the extra batteries for this thing not quite sure if i'm going to go with canon batteries or uh, some other off brand but uh that will be a video down the road so let's dive into this camera a little bit and we'll go over a little bit of the specs for you all right, guys, so I'm not going to go crazy into detail and bore you with all the specs. If you guys want specs, you can go to one of the other 8,000 videos. Some of the important specs that made me personally buy this camera was the fact that it shoots 4K, and it's an oversampled 6K, drops it down to 4. You can do 4K 60 frames a second, uh, 24, 30, and 60 frames a second. And then if you want to do, like, the super slow-mo you got to go to 1080, which is unfortunate that we don't have 120 4K, but it is what it is. So you do, however, get 180 uh, 1080p. So eh, it is what it is. Probably no one's going to notice in your videos anyway. So just do it or don't. Me personally, I would rather slow down 4K 60 versus doing 1080 and go into the 180 frames. But that's just me. It is what it is. Uh, so yeah, 
24.2 megapixel camera, full frame, that's for your pictures. So no crop factor, in case you guys don't know, most DSLR cameras, like my D80 that I'm shooting on, is a 1.6 crop. Therefore, my 16 to 35 lens is actually a 25.5 or something like that uh, at the 15 mil focal point. So, yeah. So it's going to be a little getting used to. Uh, what is nice about this camera is that there is a bunch of settings on here. So there is a setting here that you can show what uh, range you actually are at. So if you're at 16, whatever, it will show you on the screen, which I love. So the newer cameras have this newer technology, which is going to make your life a little easier. So, um, just a couple other things that really don't pertain to me, but notable 40 frames a second electronic shutter. I think it's six on the manual. I don't really take a lot of pictures, so that really doesn't pertain to me. I really don't care what it does or what the megapixels are. All I really care about is video. However, um, I can take pictures, which is why I'm going with this camera and why I have a D80. So I have the availability to take pictures if I need to or if I want to. And eventually I will. I do shoot occasionally, but like I said, not all that much. My priority is the video. Um, that's why I really haven't gone to a full cinema camera like a C100 or 200 or whatever, um, or even the Blackmagic Designs, which maybe one day I will for my studio camera, and then I'll have this as like my run and gun style uh, with picture and video options. So other than that, Canon C Log 3, that's video oriented. So basically, that just it strips all the colors from it in your raw format. I shoot raw um, and I do all my color grading in post. I use DaVinci in case you guys are wondering. So yeah, um, like I said, primarily only care about the video. Why did I buy this camera if I only care about video and it doesn't have in-body stabilization? Well, here's the deal. Um, my lens does, number one, any lens that I will buy in the future will have image stability built into the lens. It's a must have. So in the camera, it's not really that big of a deal. It does have a digital stabilization on here. And in post editing, I have some tools that I can use in DaVinci to help stable it out if I need to. Um, I really don't run and gun shoot. I'm not really handheld all that much. When I am, just I do the best I can, but it does shoot well in that and again i'm going by other people's experiences not my own basically because mine will always be set up on a tripod or a manfrotto magic arm like in my studio setup right now so the image stability in the camera in the body is not really that important and for the two thousand dollar difference from the r6 mark ii which i believe is like thirty five hundred dollars and the r5 which is like even more or maybe the r5 3500 and the r6 like 2600 or something like that whatever it is but for a 1500 dollars camera body that is a full frame mirrorless camera i really wanted to get into the mirrorless world uh just for you know shooting and stuff like that and get into more photography based things and mirrorless is the way to go the sensors are better yada 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 no crop factor so um yeah so basically, uh, from hopefully this video on, um, obviously this video is in 1080 because I'm shooting on my D80 still, or my 80D rather, but I will get this camera fully set up, ready to go. So now my videos at least will be in 4K, future videos, and I can finally give you guys what you've been asking for so long. So um, yeah, so that's all I got for you guys today. Not much of a review, more of an unboxing and explanation of why I went with this camera. And yeah, so if you guys are looking for a new mirrorless camera, give the R8 a look. Check it out. See if it's something that will fit your needs. And yeah, not paid or sponsored, just regular guy shooting a video. That's all we got for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys aren't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Check out our playlist section. Maybe there's something that you want to watch. Take care.